to our series of devotions um, this Easter season. We are coming to the end of our devotions. We are soon going to be celebrating Pentecost when the disciples were given the gift of the Holy Spirit. Our story today is called the Ascension. Um, when Jesus took the disciples um, and blessed them and then he was taken up to heaven. So listen now to the word of God. When he had led them out to the vicinity of Bethany, he lifted up his hands and blessed them. While he was blessing them, he left them and was taken up into heaven. Then they worshiped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they stayed continually at the temple, praising God. So let's revisit the story a little and slow it down a little bit um, with what's called a finger labyrinth. It's just a way of praying, praying with your fingers, um, praying to go into the center, and then praying to go back out into the world. So let's imagine that with the disciples, we are making the trip to Bethany. I wonder what they were thinking. Were they thinking about when Jesus appeared to them? All those times behind locked doors, by the shore, on the mountain? I wonder what you would be thinking when Jesus took you up to Bethany. Now when he reached Bethany, it is said that Jesus blessed them. And a blessing is just a good word, a good word spoken over somebody. You may be familiar with the blessing in the book of Numbers, chapter 6. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Just imagine, if you will, you are with the disciples and you have heard a good word from Jesus. Let's just pause in silence. What good word might you hear? And with those words, Jesus left, ascended into heaven. And the disciples worshiped him. And then they returned back. I wonder what they were thinking as they were taking their way back. Did they have the blessing still in their hearts? I wonder how they could be joyful, even knowing that Jesus was not there. He was gone. I wonder if they were remembering what he said back in John verse 14 that unless I go away, the Holy Spirit would not come. Wonder where you are in this story. Are you longing for a good word from God, a blessing? Or maybe you've heard the good word and you're so overjoyed, you're ready to bless others. Wherever you are, I wonder if you can be open and being present to hear the message that God has for you. I wonder if a breath prayer might help you to continue to feel God's presence in your life. 
maybe a breath prayer that would be, bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Or maybe it is, let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Or maybe another one from the scripture. Whatever it would be to help you continue to praise God as the disciples were able to praise him too. Let us pray. Dear God, we have taken this journey, this Easter season journey. And we have traveled with the disciples. We have heard about their fears and their doubts. We have seen your forgiveness, your call to serve. And now you bless us. Lord, just like little children, we, we long to hear a good word for us. So help us to sit long enough to open up our ears and our hearts to hear the good word that you have to say to us, a word that will stay with us wherever we go, and may we be willing and able to bless others. In your name we pray. Amen.